What is up, you guys? Five foot eight dunker, vertical jump coach, brain cancer survivor, Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics. Today, I have another review. I will be reviewing the Meebach Massage Gun. Now, I'm gonna show you some images of how you would receive this if you open it up um, out, of the, out of the box from UPS or Amazon, however you get it. And you see the nice white sleek box. You open it up and you get the carrying case. Um, I would say the carrying case is a huge plus. A lot of massage guns may not have such a nice carrying case. It might just come in a box and that's it. And inside the carrying case, you see the massage gun, you see seven different attachments. If you don't see them all, just look inside of the other carrying case that is holding these attachments. Now, I am going to be going over some of the more unique attachments. I'm gonna be going over the speed of the massage gun, who I think should be purchasing this massage gun, um, the biggest pros to it, and yeah, let's get right into it. So uh, first things first is I will say this is probably one of the fastest massage guns that I've ever used. As far as power, I think it may lack a little bit of power, but what it lacks in power it makes up in speed. This is perfect for me. So when I say it lacks in power, I'm saying if you're 6'4", or even if you're 5'8", and let's say you have about 80, 70 pounds extra worth of bodybuilder type of muscle, you may need a more powerful massage gun than this. But for the average human being, for the average athlete, even a collegiate athlete, you're gonna get the job done with this massage gun. I'm gonna go over a few of the basic attachments, but then I'm gonna get into some of the highlight, the highlights, some of my favorite attachments. So you have this, this round and hard attachment. I use this for right under the glute, where the glute and the hamstring meet. So that's a pretty basic attachment, but again, some massage guns, my most recent massage gun that I got does not have that attachment. Um, this flat head comes with most massage guns. I use this for specifically for the low back, that little pocket that you have in the low back right next to the spine. I really like that one. Um, for this flat head, it has a, a nail bed. A lot of massage guns don't have this. Again, my most recent massage gun that I gave a very high rating on does not have this attachment. I use this for the hamstrings and it adds more than just the flat head. So there's it's a little bit of a sensory overload because it does give that solid relief and a nice sensation that just loosens up the hamstring and makes me ready for deadlifting. So I use this one specifically before I would deadlift. Um, now let's get into, okay, so no, we have two more. This, this one I use for my feet. This is also to get certain tougher knots out, maybe in your low back and your upper back. Uh, but I use this specifically for the hip flexor and the quads where those meet. I use this U-shaped or the fork on my traps, but specifically on the Achilles and leading up into the calf. So I do like this one a lot. I'm going to get into the two that I have never seen before. I've never seen this flat. I think this is called the shovel. I use this on my traps and I use it a little bit on my neck. It got me a lot more comfortable under the squat bar when I used it two days ago. I squatted on Monday, today's Wednesday. Um, so it allowed me to even get my arms back. So I feel like it helped maybe with my shoulders and, and delts, not the rotator cuff, but it loosened something up where um, it helped a lot. So I really like the shovel, but I'm gonna get into the most unique attachment, which is this one, you already see me holding it, but this, you can use this around your joints. Now for all of those other attachments, they're all, harder, they're much more dense than this one. This one, as you can see me even poking it just like that, you can see it's hollow and you can get around the joint, even the elbows, but specifically for the knee. So if you have knee pain, if you have jumper's knee, tendonitis, anything like that, this will offer immediate pain relief, which I just never experienced. I don't have jumper's knee, but I used it again before I squatted and I was able to sit down in my squat a lot easier, pain-free because of this attachment. Uh, just for this attachment alone, I feel like the massage gun is well worth it. Um, again, grading it based off of price. I believe right now it's between 120 or 130, normally listed at 150. Um, so you can't beat it. Again, I always compare it to getting a sports massage. To have this at your fingertips, rechargeable battery, battery life of three hours, you really just can't beat it. Um, now I'm gonna turn it on and show you some of the different levels that you'll be able to see, which is cool that a massage gun shows it so that you don't overwork it. Power buttons on the bottom. 
turn it on and now it's on the lowest setting or the, the slowest setting I should say. And as you tap it, it goes up higher. Now, as I push this against my chest, you'll notice over here is a sensor of how hard I'm pressing it. So that'll show the pressure and then I it'll adjust the battery life based off of me keeping this pressure for an extended period of time. As my whole face and body shakes, you can see how it goes up based off of how hard I'm pressing, and then it goes down. So again, I feel like it has a lot of room for you to press it. Um, it hasn't gotten into the red yet, as my voice, I sound like Post Malone. I always try to sing a Post Malone song when I do this. My family, they used to think it was funny, but you know, after a couple of years, it's, it's kind of dies down. But again, holding in for three seconds, powers it off, take the attachment off. As far as convenience, it's definitely um, a 10 out of 10 with the carrying case. Power, I would say it's more or less a seven out of 10. Um, speed, I'm gonna give it a 10. Probably one of the faster massage guns that I've ever used. Um, but just overall use, I would say any high school, collegiate, even pro athlete, if you want a massage gun on the go to take with you to the gym to warm up with, this is definitely it. It matches all my colors. It's black, it's dark gray, it's sleek. Um, but again, the Mibach, I believe it's called the Mibach massage gun, highly recommend it. And if it's your first massage gun, you don't know what to get, and you don't want to get one of those that are you know, $400, $500, this is the one that you should get. So I hope you guys appreciated this review. I hope I detailed everything enough. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.